Miles Rush. Oh, my name's Jonathan Taylor. Dripping off the tap. I mean, it's a powerful runner. And he's got uh, quickness. Uh, very good in change of direction. And he can run away from you. I mean, the guy has very good ball, uh, ball carry vision as well. So. Road Warriors, man. Yeah. We were having a meeting. I remember Kevin put on the screen. It was a picture of Mel Gibson with the little shotgun. And he was like, what movie is this? I was like, Mad Max. He was like, wrong. Road Warriors. I thought in my head, dang, I thought it was called Mad Max 2 Road Warriors, but I'm going to just let him slide. But I hope he sees this so you know I'm right. <laughs> but it's just that. You know, you got to gotta go on the road, got to win. That's what good teams do. And you know, got to stack them. You know, you get come off a big win like that. You know, defense does well. You got to put that behind you and, and continue to move. You know, continue to, to do what, what got you there what, throughout the week and then, you know, finish strong on Sunday. Why has the run defense been so much better this year than last year? I mean, whether it's coming downhill uh, more as a back seven or being more aggressive up front, and it's maybe it's a combination of both, but we also have, you know, dogs up front who – are, are road graders and are really, really passionate about stopping the run and know that you know, to get to the passer, you got to stop the run. How tall is Harry Jr. I know you live with that. You got scared, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why my shadow moving like that? <laughs> I, know, I know you lived it, but um, when you went back and watched the film, did anything stick out about the matchup with Trent? Anything, did anything stick out? Uh, not particularly, and not anything I would say. Was Dalvin? He's eating up them double teams, man. I mean, it makes it a little bit easier when I don't have to face the guard when I'm, when I'm making an inside move or, you know, like I counter back. Now they're, they're focused on him because he's a, a load to handle. You know, my man is, is strong as they come, and he'll, he'll walk right through one guy. So they, they got to make sure they have two on him. And hopefully they, they'll have two on uh, me and Z. He can, he can get freed up and make some, some plays of his own. You said that the, um, that the Colts beat the Ravens. You know, does that show you, you know, what these guys are all about and capable of? Nah, that means nothing to us. You know, we're not worried about you know, who they beat. We're just worried about the film and what they do, not about you know, the record or you know, any of that. You know, we're just you know, focus on how, to, how do we beat them, not who what they beat. Uh, that's all in the past. Calvin said yesterday that you guys have one of the closest defenses ever been a part of. Is that true for you too? You guys Well, he said one of the closest. I'll say that is the closest defense that I've been a part of. And, I think he said this. I think he said this. Well, it's been a pleasure to be uh, amongst these guys, and you know, only want to make it a even more you know, special you know, defense and year by continuing to win and continue to enjoy you know, uh, falling out with these men. What makes you so much? We hold hands and eat dinner together. What about the best defense in the world, Montreal? Are you enjoying that? I know it seems to be a little bit more of a defensive back generating thing, but are you embracing that, uh, Mantra? I mean, we be the best defense in the world. You got to have more than DB. We, we all think we're the best. You know, we think we're the best as a unit and, and individually. So you know, once you have that in your head, you got to put it on. Got to put it on the field. And I think up to this point, we we've, we've just about lived up to that standard. But we can always take it further. So hey, Miles, I mean, not that you guys weren't close before, but what makes this defense closer than maybe the some of the teams you've been on previously? You ask this question, you ask his question, but ask further. Yeah. So, so. There's, there's not much, you know. Sometimes you just get along with people a little bit better. Sometimes you have, you have guys who have different, like, uh, you know, natures and, and you no know, passions and hobbies. And sometimes you have guys who don't. Are you guys going to continue the boombox walkout? <clears throat> I can't lie, that was fire. So, I mean. <laughs> And maybe we will. I hope he does. Yeah, it's not my boom boss. Miles, to go back to Dalvin for a minute, like what about him 
physically is so unique in, in terms of his skill and what he can do in his size and how he can do that. I mean, our man's like 325, has, you know, great instincts as far as getting off the, the ball, his pass rush. So he's, he's just, you know, a lot of man in the middle. You know, yes, he has great hands, he's strong. You know, he can, he can beat you with finesse if, if you, you know, you keep on sitting on the power. And so, you know, just having to you know, account for that in the middle. You, know, you, you can't just you know, sit with one guy because he's gonna, he's gonna bull over him. Are the Halloween decorations up? Yep. I had to check back in with you. Man, yeah, yeah. It took three, three days and nights. We got it done. Miles, you, got, um, you did the crossover thing again uh, against San Francisco. Um, how much of that is uh, having just you just having some fun, and how much of it is uh, you know there's a legitimate purpose to like what you're doing out there as far as you know trying to mess with who you're matched up with. I mean, let's enjoy the moment. You may never get this again. You never know what will happen. You know. Matchups like that, being able to play the game in general, I don't want to take it for granted. So I want to uh, make it as memorable as possible. And you know, stuff like that, you know, it also has a point to it. I'm you know, trying to see you know, where he's going to slide, where he's going to check to, who's going to come to me, and you know, try to get them all balanced thinking, you know, I'm going to go one way or the other, or I'm going to go through them. Just try to, try to make him you know, beat himself before the ball starts. Jim Schwartz meant to this defense so far this season? Like, what's been his kind of message and, and why has it been working for you guys? Uh, swag, passion, and toughness. That's what he, he really embodies and really you know, has given to this defense. You know, allowed us to bring that up ourselves and, and be true to ourselves. And I think that's it. those are three things that we kind of identify with and that, that's helped us, you know, play well knowing that we can we can always be ourselves and exude those things on the field and off the field. What do you admire about Deshaun Watson's game? What are you eager to see back again? What I admire about his game? I mean, man, it's one of the best QBs in the league. There's a whole lot to admire. You can't pick one thing if there's a whole lot like that. But I, I'm looking forward to seeing him because, I mean, he's one of the best shows on turf.